Hey guys, welcome to the Fish Addictions Workshop. Bear with me, I'm getting over a little bit of a cold, but that's not going to hinder us from getting on the ice and giving you guys a ton of great reports from around the ice belt. Now, one thing I want to go over everybody is as the year continues, we have a lot of great ice fishing. I know in Minnesota, walleye season is closed, but we still have Lake of the Woods and we still have a lot of places in North Dakota, Wisconsin, and all these great places to go fishing. And don't forget that pan fishing is starting to heat up again across the ice belt. So guys, just because walleye fishing is closed, don't forget about the great opportunities with those big bluegills, crappies, and all those kinds of fish all around the upper ice belt. Now we're gonna be going all over yet. Our ice fishing is still going strong and we're still going all over. We're gonna make it up to Canada, out to North Dakota. We're gonna be you know, hitting it just as hard as we have all year long. Again, don't forget, the ice opportunities are still there. Now one thing that a lot of people like to do at this time of year, which is starting to heat up, is that tip up pike fishing. As you can see, I'm getting some tip ups ready to go. Lake of the Woods is going to start heating up. In fact, we've heard some great reports. Fish are starting to slowly make their way in, those big females. Don't forget to do some tip-up fishing. It is so much fun this time of year. If you guys remember last year at this time, we did our big pike episode up at the, uh, Lake of the Woods. And uh, that was an epic day of fishing, guys. So don't forget about all these opportunities. The Rainy River, we're going to have reports from there coming very soon. As soon as it starts opening up, lots of guys like getting those boats out, getting on the river. So make sure you stay tuned every week here, guys, because we're going to be all over the place, just like we have for you guys all winter long. I'm going to shoot it over to the guys across the staff, give you those fishing reports, and we'll see you again next week. Hey guys, Ryan Wheelam, Monaco Area Ice Fishing Report, coming to you from the truck this week, as you can see, because we've been battling high winds, was worried you weren't going to be able to hear me. Uh, good news is, far cry from last week when I said travel was next to impossible, because it really was. Uh, this week, it's much improved. We had some 40 degree days, almost 50 a couple days, knocked a lot of that snowpack down. You can get around a lot better. Snowmobile travel is obviously best, uh, foot travel is the safest, uh, just because you know you're not, you're not going to get stuck. I did ATV out on a couple lakes this week. Just be smart. Avoid those really dark spots. Those are the slushy spots. Jumped off. Check some of those spots. And there were up to 18 inches of slush and water in a few places. So, you know, if you're taking your trucker or ATV out, definitely take a shovel with you just in case you do get stuck. You know, be prepared versus underprepared. As far as the fishing goes, obviously game fish season did close here in northern Wisconsin. Uh, so just panfish from here and out. But the bluegill bite's been phenomenal. If you, if you want to get out and panfish, now is a great time of year to do it. Uh, we've been finding a ton of big fish that were not there a couple weeks ago. You know, we checked some spots over the weekend in the last couple days here. Uh, we caught a 10-incher. We caught a bunch of 9.5s um, on those weed edges. Shallower cribs. So, you know, cribs in 10 to 12 feet. The fish are moving there, kind of staging. If you know where they spawn, they're kind of getting on the edge of those areas. Uh, if you can find standing green weeds, that's where we caught a lot of those really big fish six to eight foot you know right on the inside edge of those uh those like i said those fish are showing up the bulls are showing up great time to be bluegill fishing we were catching them on tungstens and small plastics and um, that's all we really use because they were biting so good never even messed with anything anything else as far as the crappie bite goes and i know a lot of guys like to target crappies late ice I certainly have been trying it, seeing a lot of fish on camera, you know, in those, you know, getting up closer to those transition areas, uh, especially morning and night, I haven't been able to get in a bite very well. Um, if you get some low wind days, now is a great time of year to be fishing rosies and, you know, crappie minnows on tip downs. So I definitely highly recommend that. You know, we have been getting a few biters, bigger fish, you know, 13, 14 inches, just not the numbers. So I'm going to be doing that this week. Uh, definitely stay tuned for more reports as the season goes on. I'll re be reporting again next week on how the pan fish bites going. Uh, stay tuned. We have more reports coming up and you know a lot of ice left here in northern wisconsin as well so you know, if you're looking to make a trip you know your ice is kind of gone in southern wisconsin or you know southern minnesota if you're on the edge of the border northern wisconsin violet sinai county we have a ton of ice travels a lot better than it was last week so you know get up here the bite's heating up and it's going to really heat up as, as we go into you know middle to late march so stay tuned more fishing reports coming Tracy Crona with fish addictions checking in here from gull lake up in the Brainerd Lakes area, I am at the first annual Women Anglers of Minnesota fishing tournament. And I'm out trying to target some crappie action and also trying to locate some bluegills in hopes to bring a championship back home for the first annual tournament here. I found some structure. I'm kind of in a saddle here in between two humps where it comes up real nice and shallow, kind of mid-lake structure here. And I'm just outside of the edge of the top side of those humps. I started fishing on top of them, 
I was catching a lot of rock bass. Tons of great weed cover. Real nice, great, fresh milfoil, lush, fertile. Caught a real nice pike. Decided to move off to that deeper side in hopes to find some, some crappie activity. And I'm set up currently in 19 feet here off the edge. And I've got just stacks for days down on the bottom of my graph. It's actually pretty insane how many marks are down there. I'm just having a hard time getting them to commit. So I'm gonna change up my presentation and my tactics a little bit, probably downsize just a hair and see if I can't get these things to bite. And I hope that there's some prizes down there that I can put a pin on my graph and come out here and, and take the win home with my partner Nancy tomorrow. So thanks for tuning in. Get out there and fish. It is beautiful out here. Take care. Check back in next week. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Theo Tolliver with Fish Addictions, and I'm checking in from North Dakota. Recently, I had a chance to fish on Lake Metagoshi up in the Turtle Mountains chasing some trophy bluegill. The ice up there is really good. It's anywhere between 25 and 30 inches of ice, and with the little snowfall they've been having, you can get around the ice pretty easy, even with a small car. Now for the fishing report. The fishing was pretty good. Uh, most fish that I found uh, were anywhere, anywhere between 13 and 17 feet of water. Uh, uh, to find these fish, I found that they were uh, kind of off the basin of the lake. You find a flat part in the lake and then go to the structures of the side of the lake and fish anywhere between 13 and 17 feet of water. That's where I found most of my bluegills. So good luck out there guys and tight lines. For more information on Fish Addictions TV, check them out on all their social media.